So Thursdays, I'm typically in the OR during the day, in the morning and afternoon, and then I head to the wrestling room in the afternoon. So practice is usually at 6.30, and I grab a quick bite to eat at home, and I get up here and get to work. All right, we all gonna sit, we're gonna, we're gonna practice is over. I told you this was a very important night, right? Very important night. I want to talk to you tonight about Halloween, practice, and homework. So now it's time for my second shift as a youth wrestling coach. Have you ever been trick-or-treating and you walked up to a house with your friends and you came to the house and nobody was at the house yeah. but sitting on that porch was a bowl of candy? Yeah? And maybe it had baby roots in it and Reese's peanut butter cups and Hershey's chocolates and it looked really good and there were all these different candies, all your favorite candies. But there was a little sign there that said, take only one. And you know what? You're gonna have a choice to make when you come to a bowl like that. And there's a sign that says, take only one. And you're gonna look around and your friends have already gotten what they got. Maybe somebody got two or three. And you're gonna be standing there looking at that bowl. And you're gonna look around and there's gonna be nobody around. And you're gonna to need to make a choice. And only you will know what that choice was. The nice thing about wrestling, which teaches kids at a young age is, it's all about responsibility and it's your responsibility. You're out there, there's nobody you can point to and say, hey, somebody else messed up, it's all you. So I tell them when they cross that line and they go into the ring, they're responsible for what happens out there and they're responsible for how they behave and how they choose. All those things are really helpful for kids. So there's an experiment. They looked at kids at candy bowls, going to candy bowls, and they did an experiment. They had a room with a candy bowl in it and uh, the kids went in and the sign said take only one. And a lot of the kids didn't take one, they took two or they took three. But they did the same exact experiment and they put a mirror in the room and they, the sign said take only one. And guess what? The kids that walked in the room with the mirror and the sign that said take only one, they usually took only one. Now why is that? I've always said that wrestling is like neurosurgery. Passion and skill keep you on top. But really it's a lot more than that. I mean it's the intensity. It's the, it's the high risk emotional and adrenaline that you get when you're in the wrestling room, similarly that you get in the, in the operating room. And I've just always felt it had the same kind of intensity and the same personal nature to it. We're at wrestling practice and we're working out. We're working out at wrestling practice and our partner is grinding his, our face into the mat. And it is a miserable night of practice. And I am, you're tired and you want to go home. And coach says 30 seconds left. And all you want to do is get out of there and get home. Are you going to go the distance or are you going to coast? It's a choice you may need to make. I can kind of stall a little bit, catch my breath, make it look like I'm wrestling. Are you going to do that or are you going to go the distance, give everything you got? That's a choice you're going to make. And again, nobody's going to know but you. Now let's say you're at home and you're doing your homework. And you're working there, and you're studying, and you got an exam tomorrow or a quiz, and you know you know the material pretty good. You can probably get an 80 or a B or a C on it, but another 30 minutes will get you an A. Are you going to close the book and coast? Or are you going to go all the way? Maybe it's not a test. Maybe it's your reading log where you got to record how many pages you did and how much time you did. Or it's your band log if you're practicing an instrument. And you got to record what you did for your music teacher. You got to put down something. You're going to have a choice. And only you is going to know. I talk to all the kids that they are the author of the dictionary they carry around. And what that means is the words that we think about, the words that we talk about, the words that we envision are what we become. So when I talk to these kids at practice, I talk to them about who holds you down? Nobody. What are we on our feet? Relentless. Who owns the third period? We do. These are the kinds of like empowerment thoughts that kids really get into and then they, they own it. And I'm going to tell you something. When you make those choices, they're either going either to be positive charged or negative charged. 
So you need to think about it when you make those choices. There are going to be times when you get challenged like that. Now, I told you tonight was a really important night because, you know, I could, I bet you, I would make a wager that every single person in this room has taken the shortcut once. Has not done the thing that they thought they should do. Maybe not even done the, the honorable thing. Every single person in this room. Maybe you think you're unique. You're not. Everybody in this room, even the folks over there, everybody, everybody, including me, has fallen short and has taken a shortcut and has done things that we're not that proud of. Maybe even dishonored ourselves. Because that's the choice you're going to make. Am I going to honor myself or am I not going to honor myself? This is why tonight's an important night. It's because we can wipe the slate clean tonight. We can say, right now, from this night forward, I'm going to go the distance. I'm not going to take the shortcut. I'm going to do the honorable thing. I will not dishonor myself. I am going the distance, not throwing the towel in. We can make a vow tonight to never do that again and move forward. Does anybody know what a vow is? What's a vow? It's an oath to yourself. That's right. It's a promise on steroids, isn't it? All right. So I'm telling you, tonight, we are going to take all those things that we're not so proud of and we didn't do what we should do, and we're going to throw them in the garbage can, and we're going to say, from tonight on, we are going to go the distance. You want us to take that vow with me? And then we're not going to feel any of that regret. We're not going to feel any of that negative energy. We're going to be positive from here on out. All right. You want to say it? I'm going to go the distance. Say it. I'm going to go the distance. Tonight, from now on, I'm going to go the distance. Tonight, from now on, I'm going to go the distance. Tonight, from now on, I choose honor, not dishonor. It feels good, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. All right. Hey, so everything in the past is gone. It's from this point forward. Now, hey, it's a special night. I think we should celebrate. I got some treats for you. All right? And take only one. Have a good night. From tonight forward, right? From tonight forward. From tonight forward. Great job on your speech. From tonight forward. 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 I'm making sure everybody takes From tonight forward. Take only one. Well, that was, we took an oath, right? Here you go. Thank you. Good work out. Good work out. Thank you.